Venom 101. How do Venoms work? Stunning tiger snake here. Yeah, you can nail it, guys. How do venoms work? They can destroy living cells. They can cause intense pain. They can be fast acting. They can make blood clot. And they can stop your heart from beating. So what is a venom? Well, it's a toxin that has to be injected into the person. And that can happen by a bite or a sting or a spine. Now it's different from a poison which has to be ingested or eaten. The study of venoms is called toxinology. And it's amazing because there are so many different ways in which one particular venom can kill you. And some of these venoms, you need such a small amount, enough just to put on the top of a pinhead and can kill you in under two or three minutes. We're gonna look at a whole variety of these venoms and how they interact in the human body. And the first one we're gonna look at is stonefish. Under the microscope, I've got some human heart cells and what we're going to do is add some stonefish venom and just see what happens. So what you have under here is these long, thin heart cells. Now, you can see the venom starting to work in here now and the cells are actually starting to die. And they're coming from long, thin cells to this squidging up into little tiny circles. Now that's an indication that these cells are dying. What you'll see is as they get smaller and smaller and smaller, virtually they just disappear. So you've gone from a cell that might have been two or three millimetres long to now is the better part of a quarter of a mil or even smaller and scrunching right up into this little tiny ball. So stonefish venom is different from a lot of the other venoms in what it's doing is actually attacking the membranes of the cells. So when you get stung by a stonefish, for example, you stand on it, the spine goes into your foot and you then compress these venom sacs. The venom then gets squirted out under high power into the wound in your foot. Now this can be at least one, maybe two centimetres into your foot. That venom's very sticky, it stays behind, it then starts to destroy the cells, and if you don't clean it out and take any venom, you're liable to end up with these big weeping ulcers. A friend of mine did exactly this. Six or seven weeks down the track, he had these big holes in the bottom of his foot. There's a chance he was actually going to lose his foot. So the venom from this tiny Irukandji jellyfish works in a completely different way. What it does is produce pain and truckloads of it. And I know this from first-hand experience. The pain is excruciating. But what's the venom doing to produce that pain? Well, we think it acts on the adrenal system. So in other words, it produces adrenaline. So if I stand you like that, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> What's happened is your adrenaline levels have risen, but they only stay there for five, 10, 15 seconds and they disappear again. What we think happens with this venom is it increases that level and it holds it there 15, 20, 30, 40 minutes. And because of that, your body goes into this flight or fight response of, I've got to get away, but I can't. What do I do? Your body tenses up, your muscles cramp, you vomit, you throw up, feeling of impending doom all from this venom, from this little tiny jellyfish, which we think acts on your adrenal system, but we're still not sure. So what we've got here is we've a neurologically deceased toad. So we've rendered it unconscious, and then we've scrambled its brain. So we're basically, it's neurologically dead, it feels no pain, it is dead, it'll never come back to life, but the beauty with toads is their hearts will continue to beat. So we now have a a toad that feels no pain, that has a beating heart, and what we can do is add venom to that to try and find out what the venom actually does to the heart and what the best way would be to treat somebody. So we've got him hooked up to an ECG, so we're measuring his heart rate and the, what his heart's are doing, or what his heart's doing. What we will do, remembering that the toad can't feel any pain, is we'll open him up and open up the cavity to his heart, and you'll be able to see his heart pumping away. This is quite a substantially large than normal toad, so he should have quite a large heart. He's got a very big liver, but there is his heart. 
and you can see it pumping away quite nicely. Now you'll notice that when it relaxes, which is now, pump, relax, pump, relax, pump. As it pumps, it goes white because it's forcing all the blood out of the heart around the rest of the body. So that's happy there. If we now take some box jellyfish venom, and you can see now beautifully the heart is bouncing away. So we're getting beat, 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 beat. So it's probably 60, 70 beats a second, a minute, sorry. And you can see the heart pumping quite nicely there. So if we inject venom into that heart and watch what happens, immediately the heart starts to change and you can see by and large the heart no longer is relaxing as much as it was and it's starting to go white. And you can see now that heart has stopped and you can see where we've injected the venom and the heart is going white. You can see it mo moving beautifully down the heart there. So what's happened is that heart's contracting and it's not relaxing and it's continuing to contract. Up on the screen, there's no heart rate at all and that heart now is completely white and completely rigid. So what's happened there is, and this is how this venom works, it basically opens what's referred to as calcium ion channels in the heart, makes the muscles contract and they don't release. So what you have a heart doing that, and if the heart doesn't release, you can't pump blood through the body. If you can't pump blood through your body, basically the animal dies. And that all happened literally within seconds. So it's absolutely no wonder why box jellyfish are the most venomous animals on the planet. They kill people in under two minutes and that's what you've got to deal with. So what we have here is some of my blood and what we're going to do is add some brown snake venom to it and see what happens. And there it goes. And you see it's now turned into a jelly. So where's the other one? So that's the brown snake venom. And it's basically just turned into a big clot versus this one, which is still quite liquid. Even better, if we take the lid off it, keeping in mind that's the brown snake and that's normal blood. This is the brown snake and there you have it. That's what happens when you get bitten by a brown snake. So that's the normal blood, you can see not much happens. If I drag that through that, look at that. Now can you imagine that clot running through your body and getting stuck in something like your lung or your heart or your brain? So venoms are truly fascinating. They work in so many different ways. But if they're so effective, why aren't more animals venomous? That's the nature of science. <laughs>